Um, okay. So again, guys, we're looking at now we're adding and subtracting. We're not multiplying. Now we're adding and subtracting. Guess what? The same thing's going to apply. Same thing's going to apply. Now let's just simplify our radicals. So Adara, that first question that we did, right? That becomes very important because now we're doing that over and over and over again, but then we're just adding an extra element to it. Okay? Uh, I don't know. 17 dollars. Okay. So let's square root. Let's do the square root of 48. Let's do the square root of 75. And then let's simplify the square root of 12. Now, square root of 12, we simplified last class period, right? Square root of 4 times 3. Square root of 4 times the square root of 3. 2 square root of 3. Right? Good, we got that one. 48, though we haven't done that one yet. Uh, 48, 48. What square number, the largest square number that divides? Yes? 12 and 4 does work. But I would like to see if there is there a larger square number than 4 that goes in. Twenty-four and four works. Or sorry, four and twelve works. But is there a number, another number? Now, let's go and use your number. All right. Let's just do this just so we can see. Let's say you did forty-eight. You did twelve and four. Are you still going to get the same answer? Well, of course you are. Four to four times square root of twelve. But the problem is you're going to do this twice, because do 2 times square root of 12. And then you can do this again, right? <laughs> See how much a little bit more work I have than just doing it over there? So that's why I said give me the largest square number. You're absolutely correct, though. It works. It's just a, little, it's just a couple extra steps, OK? Then let's do 75. What's the largest square number that goes into 75? 25, right? Because 15 is not a square number, but 25 is. It's close. So then you could do. Got it? OK. So now let's break these all up. So we said 2 times square root of 48 was going to be 4 radical 3 minus um, 5 radical 3 minus 12, which was 2 radical 3. Does everybody see how what I did is all I did was replace each one of my radical numbers in their simplified form? Now I can distribute. OK. So we've talked about all right, that the square root um, do not, you cannot go ahead and combine them to get your answer. You cannot say the square root of 4 plus the square root of 9 equals the square root of 13. We know that's not true because 2 plus 3 equals 5. The square root of 13 is not 5, right? So you cannot combine radicals when you have them in the same denominator. So what do you do then if they are the same? What's the square root of 9 plus the square root of 9? That equals 2 square roots of 9. What's x plus x? 2x. What's square root of 9 plus square root of 9? 2 square root of 9. Let's see if that works. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 2 times square root of 9, is that going to equal 6? Yes. So remember, you can only combine them when they're like terms. And when they're like terms, you don't change, the, you don't change what's under the root. So. I have 8 squared of 3 minus 5 squared of 3 minus 2 squared of 3, which is just going to equal 1 squared of 3, which equals the squared of 3. Oh, I, I did the wrong one. You guys asked for 16, didn't you? No. No, you asked for 17? No, I didn't. Yeah. All right, maybe I did the wrong problem. Oh, actually, it looks like, no, that's right. OK. Cool. I give you Thank you. <laughs> 